Hi everyone, it's Be Divine and welcome to Divine Miracles and the Tarot Mini Forecast this week for Fire Signs. And I am using the uh, Mythic Tarot that I've had since I was 15. So these are really powerful cards, for me anyway. And we'll see what's going to come up for the uh, Fire Signs. So that's Aries, Leo and Sagittarius. So let's start off with Aries and see what's coming up this week. Here we go, Aries. All right, okay, Aries, the Three of Swords. Now, I don't want you to be alarmed. I'm trying to get it in the right light here. Okay, don't be, there's the card for the Three of Swords. Don't be too worried or upset when you see this card because this is showing that something that is already happening in your life. Okay, so we're talking about um, this week, you know, and the Three of Swords. So this is already underway or already happening in your life. And it may be that something is um, reminding you of a situation of loss. Okay, the Three of Swords is generally um, heartbreak or heartache. A situation in your life where there has been a painful ending. A situation where you perhaps have been going through a lot of grief. Um, and you know you maybe have had to have gone to a funeral or something um, in the last month or two something of great sadness has come up in your life this is the card to say that even though your heart is breaking and aching you're still moving into the next phase you know you're still moving into this next cycle of your life because you're allowing whatever it is that needs to come to the surface to come to the surface so that you can let it go. It is a time of releasing. You know, it is a time of letting go of all that's held you back in the past. It is a time of acknowledgement for those people who have been in your life and for those people who perhaps sadly you may have lost in your life. But no one is ever truly lost to us. What we miss the most when someone passes away is we miss the essence of who they are in their physical body. But when we understand that they've transitioned to such a greater position, you know, where they're in the full capacity of who they really are, you know, they're right in their higher self, their soul is completely free of a physical body. Uh, we see how much better they are. We can connect with them and it can make us feel that little bit more at peace, okay? There is a situation that is changing for you. There is something in your life that you felt you could probably never let go of and you've made it through. You've been able to do that. It's a sense of having to deal with something perhaps that nobody else knows about or understands about and that you're making the best of that. You're able to sort this out within yourself. You're able to do it. And it may be very surprising to you as well. Don't discount grief. Grief can come up in your life at any time. It doesn't ever really go away. However, we do manage to find ways in which we can deal with it as we move, you know, as time goes along. But don't let anyone tell you that you should be, you know, you should stop grieving or you shouldn't have those feelings anymore because everybody is different. And as I said, grief can come up and hit you at any time. Um, even if it's been a very long time since there's been a passing, um, it can just come up when you're going through something as well, okay? So know that you are supported and very, very loved. And even if you're going through a really bad situation at the moment, this too shall pass. You will get through and you're going to be stronger for it. And whenever there's a passing of someone that we really love, it's an indication for us to use that, you know, for our benefit. With me, my brother passing in the year 2000 got me into mediumship. And if I didn't do that, then I probably wouldn't be doing what I do now, you see. So even though at the time it wasn't something that I wanted to hear, um, it is something that's beneficial to me now and, you know, helps me as I move forward. So trust that you're loved and supported and your messages are always heard. So keep asking 
and if this may be just an ending to a situation not not perhaps a, a you know a grief sort of situation but an ending to a job or a lifestyle or a situation and you're ready for these changes now okay so that's the message for Aries it's a bit of a bigger message because of the card that came through um, and now Leo and the Sun has left but it might come back out okay Leo Leo okay the justice card Leo so there I just want to show it to you that's Athena the goddess of justice and she has her wise owl with her she is the epitome of strength and courage and determination she is able to navigate her way through any kind of obstacle she is with those of us who are struggling with a legal situation for example or maybe you have something that you need to sign a contract that needs to be filled out something that is important for you uh, she is there sort of guiding you through this as well the wisdom coming from the owl we are getting a lot of knowledge this month because it is the month of knowledge we're working with the angel Zuriel as well who brings in healing who brings in change who brings in deep and ancient knowledge and maybe you've been a lot like myself and feeling that there's a whole lot of things uh, that are coming through all at once and you know you've you're just getting like overloaded with all this information and not really sure exactly what it all is and this is indicating that it's time for you to write it's time for you to sit there and put all your feelings onto paper because when you do that you start to free yourself and you start to see things freeing up in your life as well so things starting to shift in your life for the better too so Athena comes forward as well to offer you her strength you know to offer you her independence if you thought of a strong goddess you know even if you're a male if you think of a strong person um, a strong goddess like Athena do you think that she lets anything get in her way? Nope, she navigates her way through things. She doesn't let anything block her path. She doesn't let anyone upset her. She just keeps being true to who she is. And this is the message for all the Leos out there. There may be a situation where someone's trying to tempt you or change uh, who you are or tell you what you should be doing or tell you what you should be feeling or trying to coerce you into another direction that you don't want to take learn how to say no which is a big problem for Leo's we don't know how to say no we like to please everybody and you know it's time to stand up for yourself because you are just as important as anyone else is and your time is also just as valuable too um, you know people assume that they can just drop in on you whenever they like um, or be there but when you've needed people in the past you've probably found that there's not many people there if anyone at all so it's time to be Athena to be you know this warrior to stand up for yourself in a loving and gentle way where people wouldn't even bother asking you know um, they wouldn't even do that to you because they know that you're you know strong and independent and all of that they all look up to you for different reasons I feel also as well that maybe there's going to be some sleeplessness this week maybe you're going to get up at odd times during the night maybe there's going to be strange um, dream images maybe there's people from your past that are coming up in your dreams as well and they just sort of flash there you don't really know what it's all about but what I've learned in my work is that when someone comes to the surface of my mind even if it's in a dream it's like the coming up and out and it's a way of releasing so you instead of sitting there going I wonder why that person was in my dream I can say okay that person was going you know that person is is out now I've got rid of that whatever memory that was or whatever feeling that was so pay attention to your dreams which are leading you into a new direction as well and ask Athena to be there she will give you strength that you need and also uh, justice will be done in any legal situation 
but it is a warning too to make sure that you're reading all the fine print before you sign any document any contract any lease for anything as well okay so that's the message for Leo and the message for Sagittarius come on sunshine we need some sunshine in here okay well it is what it is at least you can hear me <laughs> um, okay Sagittarius I suppose I should just turn the light up just a second that might be a bit bright never mind we have to do it okay Sagittarius here we go okay Sagittarius okay Sagittarius the page of wands so let's have a look here okay the page of wands for you all is always a messenger okay so you're getting a message of good news something new happening for you something shifting in the direction of a creative pursuit or maybe a business pursuit someone may have offered you a job or a job offer is on its way for you it looks like you've leapt into something or you're you're on a new journey as we speak and it may not be exactly what you want it to be it's almost like you have to hang in there just for the moment because there's something else about to turn in your life that is going to lead you in another direction that perhaps at the moment you can't even navigate anyway you know you can't see this okay this is a surprise you know this is um, something that you um, are unaware of okay and it's time for you to again this is about people putting themselves a little bit more first and not always giving in to the demands to the needs to what we feel we should do our responsibilities to all these other people it's time to be responsible for ourselves and you know lift ourselves in the direction that we want to go in and what we find is that people who matter to us won't mind that change okay and people who who mind they don't matter that's a that's a saying okay if someone is truly um, loving to you and someone is truly um, you know wanting the best for you then they will support you no matter what you do but there is a tendency for Sagittarius to feel a deep responsibility to keeping other people happy and not always yourself and then you get very resentful in your own heart because the things that you want to do you feel that you can't do but you know that you know you've made this decision because it helps somebody else but inside yourself you can't help but getting churned up you know and a little bit resentful and upset that it has to be this way you know so don't do that anymore there are big decisions coming forward for you and it is time for you to as you can see take the leap do what you want to do for yourself um, do what you feel is right for you regardless of what anyone else is doing what their feelings are or whatever because as I said you know if you do this then the right people will be there by your side and will be very understanding of the path that you need to take for your own growth okay good news is coming this week things are shifting and changing trust in the process of your life to always lead you where you need to go like the right direction that you need to go and trust that you are capable of doing anything that you set your heart on okay do it for yourself because if you don't do it now then you're going to wait a whole nother year and then another year and another year always putting yourself last so really think about this and trust in the universe and its ability to help move mountains for you see everything as being an easy process and not so hard either okay so that's the message for Sagittarius I hope that that was helpful to you all and until the next video wishing you many many blessings and much happiness and goodbye for now bye <laughs>